Hi viewers, Mysore Sport welcomes you to the 44th edition of the YouTube channel. We are here today at JP Nagar Swimming Pool Global Sports Association and we are here to cover swimming as our subject. Swimming is a global sport which is very popular in our country also. Karnataka has been producing talented swimmers from time to time. Today we have with us a 15 year old girl from Mysore, Tanya, who has been a dream girl in the pool by ex performing exceedingly well in the South Zone Swimming Championship held recently in Thiruvananthapuram. She created three records and win, won three golds uh, in different disciplines and also won silver. She uh, won the individual championship in the, champion, in the swimming meet. I welcome Tanya for our interview. I welcome you to our Mysore Sport YouTube channel chat show. Welcome. Thank you for inviting me for this interview with Mysore Sports YouTube channel. Tell me how you started uh, swimming and how, how did uh, you take up to the sport? I started swimming when I was in second standard. I joined swimming as a summer camp but then I gained interest in competing in competitions. Where did you first start? In JP Nagar Swimming Pool. Yeah, Global Sports uh, Association. Association. Who was your coach and who inspired you uh, in the beginning uh, teaching your basics? Huh. I started swimming here and I've been come across many coaches but the main coach was Pawan sir. Okay, good. Uh, which was your first break into competition? How did you start? Uh, see, you are in this uh, uh, sub-junior and then you started doing your uh, initial training. So, which was your first uh, initial championship? So, I uh, my first competition was in 2017. It was a district level competition. Uh, it was the Dasra meet. So, I had uh, come in second place in 50 meter breaststroke. So, that was my first competition. How did you feel getting a medal? Uh, so, uh, what was your feeling? Whether what it, Did it inspire you to take up the sport seriously? Yeah, it did. So, when I started swimming, I didn't know that there were competitions in this sport. So, when I got my first place or when I got my first medal, I I became motivated to get more in the competition. How come you uh, really took interest and then how did you proceed further in the sport? Uh, what are the competitions in the next level which you took part? So I really got into uh, competing in more when there was a competition held in our pool which was named the Indo-Sri Lanka competition. So in there I had gotten like five gold medals and I've gotten an uh, individual championship. So then I was like, I have to get to another level, I have to go to the state meet, I have to get a medal there. So that was my goal. So it was the first time you represented Mysore district in the state level competition? So my first one was in year 2019. So that was in the Chamundi Vihar pool, it was held in Mysore itself. So there I had gotten my first ever state medal which was bronze in 50 meter breaststroke. Okay, which is your best uh, event and uh, what is the uh, best timing which you have recorded? Uh, you did well recently in the South Zone Championship held at Thiruvannandapuram. Uh, you bet uh, uh, the 2013 record in, uh, in, uh, in an event uh, with you won three goals and one silver and you won the individual championship. Uh, it a great feat for Karnataka at this age of uh, doing that. Uh, tell me about those uh, feats. So I had gotten into Kerala, I was very nervous because that was my first time in, in which I was participating in my individual event, that to four events. I had gotten into South Zone but that was in a relay event. So that was in Hyderabad, I had gotten a gold there. But this was the individual events that I was doing in four events and I was very nervous at that time. So the first uh, the first event, which was 200 meter breaststroke, I was very nervous. Well, I got the silver. I was happy with my performance because I gave my best. But and that, I got uh, that was also a record breaking Yeah, effort. that was a better record. Ah. And, and in the upcoming uh, days, I got my uh, performance bettered, I got my timings bettered and I was happy. 
and at the and then the end of the competition like when they were doing the closing ceremony they announced my name and i was very happy i couldn't believe that and i was really happy yeah so what tell me about the uh, 2013 record and what what was the timing which you recorded in the 200 uh, uh, breaststroke and 100 uh, meter breaststroke and 50 meter breaststroke uh so in the first day the first event which i swam was 200 breaststroke so in that i had crea uh, created a better record so i did 250 so the old record was 250.97 i did 250 i i bettered it in fractions and the record which i did in 400 individual medley so that that was uh, the record was made in 2013 and i did 526 okay. so i uh made 7 second better record so i actually didn't know that i actually made a record so i swam i finished my meet i got i uh, i got to know that i got a gold i came up i changed and then i was going to the victory ceremony then they announced that i got a uh new meet record how related were you uh, uh looking at the timings and uh, uh what was your feeling Uh, I couldn't believe it actually that I couldn't believe that I did a record in the south zone meet and that to a 7 second record beating a 2013 record that was a great thing for me and I did my best which was the main thing so this uh, performance in the meet has inspired you uh, to perform well in the coming competitions and uh, uh, how do you uh, take this credit and uh, whom do you give this credit to your coach pavan sir and your training methods and what your uh, your efforts tell me i would give my credit to everyone my parents my coach and everyone who has helped me during the journey of my swimming and uh, everyone everyone has supported me a lot including my school they have given me holidays now i'm going to the cbsc meet and i'm representing the my school and my parents have given me a, a lot of encouragement they have been they have been the main thing for this and even pavan sir he has given me a lot of uh, uh, tips before the meet so that i can get a gold i could do a record and yeah yeah tell me something about sharda public school and its uh, promotion of sport which are, uh, and how are they helping you uh, to pursue your interest in the sport so my school uh, i had joined the school when i was in third standard so in that time i was still a beginner in swimming so when i was in fifth and all i got i get to go the medals and all and from then they have been encouraging me and now i had gone to the cbsc meet i had gone to the cbsc meet for the first time and my school was very happy for that they encouraged me they encouraged me a lot and they and they told me that when you are going to gujarat make sure that you get a medal and they've been helping me they've been encouraging me and they've giving me uh, attendance as well during the holidays yeah yeah tell me about your parents and your parents support is all always uh, very much necessary for any family or any sportsman uh, tell us about your dad and your mom and your family uh, how are they supporting you in your venture so my my parents so they had the thought that i should not only be in education but in in other uh, activities as well so when i was in second i joined for the summer camp for swimming actually so they were looking out for sports like tennis cricket and stuff so we came to this pool and i was like very excited and i when it's water every kid loves water and i was like i have to learn swimming so that's when that, that's when it started and my parents didn't know a lot of swimming even i didn't know a lot of swimming so but when i got my state medal and when i got my first medal they were very happy so they encouraged me to get more medals so when i got my state medal they their were, names uh, my father name is shadakshari and my mother's name is shweta yeah nice uh, nice to know of that to have parents who support children in their sporting ventures and to develop all round ability and uh, tell me who is your idol and whom do you like in the international sw swimming arena and uh, whom do you like most and idolize both in the men's and the women's section so it is every swimmer's idol who is michael phelps so i've been reading a book of him recently so i've been feeling really motivated after uh, reading his uh, biography 
so uh, i've been really motivated by him he got to the olympics when he was just in 15 years and he got a world record and it really motivates me so going to the women section i would say katie ledecky even she is a she is a women top swimmer and coming to the indian i would say uh, there are many people so there are many uh, people who like motivates me or basically who are like the role models i've been always trying to copy them <laughs> like uh, doing their thing like their stroke or their attitude i try to develop it in myself so that i could i can get the performance like them see look at uh, the last olympics three of uh, the, for the first time india had three people yeah. sri hari nataraj and sajan kumar and uh, manav ah Ma- uh, manav yeah. so look at uh, the inspiration they gave the the other swimmers karnataka has always been a power house in the yeah. indian swimming and they have been winning the senior and junior championship and sub junior champ- championship thanks to uh, the karnataka swimming association yeah. and the other uh, other, uh, other yeah. groups who are into uh, supporting sport in the in karnataka how do you feel is the scene in uh, in karnataka uh, and uh, the future ahead for uh, swimming i would say the people in karnataka are very uh, modern thinking they think of the future they think about the olympics and they are very so they are very motivated and they want to they give they make us to give that performance they train us in that way and we have that mindset so that we have to achieve more in the higher level we have to represent our nation we have to go to the olympics we have to get a medal there so that has been the goal we have drona charya coach in uh, pradeep sir uh, neha ramin sir and all other uh, coaches like nisha miller and uh, others from karnataka uh, how do you take the inspiration from them learning from them and the other uh, like sri hari nataraj doing well uh, how do you take the inspiration and work out i just want to be like them i want to represent my nation in the international meets in the olympics in the commonwealth games and i want to get a medal hopefully and i want to represent my nation so they have been representing our nation and they have been my motivation and what's your further goal and uh, what are your future uh, uh, thinking and workouts uh, which you would like to uh, 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 custom with and go higher up to in the indian scene and now you are in the sub junior level you have to go in different levels to achieve greater success what do you think you can do to enhance my, your uh, uh, performance my current goal is to go to the koyelo india youth games so now we have the south uh, sorry so we have the state sub junior junior aquatic championships which will be held at june i want to get a record there and have to go to the nationals i have to get a medal there as well i have to get a record hopefully individual championship there as well and then i want to go to the kelo india youth games so that is my current goal right now and then after hopefully if i'll go to the kelo india then if i'll get a medal so then my goal will be to go to the international meets hopefully tanya we are very very happy that from us uh, 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 from mysore you have been uh doing it for the first time any mysore girl hasn't achieved this feat uh in the south zone in the sub junior category and we are very proud of your efforts and hope you go from step to step in the higher level in this sporting arena in swimming and bring more and more laurels for uh mysore karnataka and our country in the days to come thank you thank you sir